Alright. Thank you, Datuk. Can I ask you about the statement you made with regards to the UN uh, Convention on Human Rights? Actually, Anifa Aman has once said, once said that one reason why we haven't ratified it is because we, we require to treat uh, refugees in, uh, better than we treat our own citizens. Is that a view that you, you share? No, the thing is that the, uh, uh, I think probably you got our foreign minister wrong. This is not, the, this is not that way, actually. Uh, when I answer about uh, our, uh, whether we are already ratified the whole convention or not, uh, there are actually nine treaties altogether. So we have already signed up three. At the moment, we have already signed up on women, on child, and also on disability. On, on these three conventions, we have already signed up and we have already ratified. And the rest, there are a lot more. There are six others actually, six more uh, conventions. And we are going, we move into it slowly because we would like to look into it seriously. It's not that we, we don't want to sign, but we have to really check because there are certain things that involve a lot more other uh, um, uh, laws in our, in our uh, constitution, which uh, if we have to uh, ratify, we have to make sure that it is actually uh, is, is, can correlate into the laws that we are, we are having at the moment. So that will actually take a longer time. So that's why we go one by one. Once it is, uh, okay, now three, the next one will be the fourth one, and then the fifth one. That's what we do. It's not that we don't want to ratify. Nothing at all. We have already signed. There's only now three already signed, and then six more to go. What about with regards to the LGBT community, as you were saying in your... Yeah, but, uh, you know, we said one good example is about uh, LGBT, you know, that. So I said, uh, this is what they are they're asking for. And here in our country, we have uh, a lot more uh, that we have to look at, whether on the ethics, uh, on uh, uh, the normal, uh, the norm that people actually uh, here in our country. There are, there are a lot more other religious, uh, religion uh, matters that we have to look at, uh, racial, and also norms and ethics of our human uh, here in Malaysia. That, so are we saying that LGBT community is not the norm in Malaysia? I'm not saying that. I say we have to look into all these and then we have to combine it. Then only it is fair for everybody. When you want to talk about fairness, you have to talk about everybody. It is not only one side. If you want to change your, uh, your sex in, from ladies to men, for example, this is your own rights. But whether we should sign and say, okay, we, we want you to change to men, it's a different matter. It is, it is the kind of thing that we have to look at. You see, you, you understand that. So I'm not saying that, uh, oh, no, we can't. But it's up to you. But for us to sign, that is a law. For, for us to make a law, to sign, and we have to look at every religion, every race, every uh, norms that it is available in this country. That's what I'm trying to say. So what's the timeline, do you think, for Malaysia to ratify the UN? As I said, we have nine treaties. We have already done three. I think 30% of that is already settled. So we have to look at another 60 or percent. So we wait. Because I mean, sorry, just funny. Because Australia has criticized Malaysia a lot for not ratifying the convention with regards to the, why the refugees. Why well, don't uh, Why don't they whack those people who never sign at all? Okay. Thank you.